Hi, this is Trey Passer. Welcome to my review of Ambulance. This is the latest, latest Michael Bay movie. Uh, this movie stars Jake Gyllenhaal, and I'm gonna try to pronounce this guy's name. He was in Black, he was Black Manta and Aquaman, and he was in Baywatch, and he was in K the Candyman remake. <coughs> it's, it's an African name, I believe, but let me see if I can pronounce it without butchering it. It's Yaha Abdul Mateen II. I don't know why I just said, you should have just changed the name. I'm sorry. I know, I know he has pride in his name and everything else, but come on, that's that's a mouthful. <laughs> okay, but anyway, he's a good actor anyway. Uh, but anyway, this is a story about two brothers, uh, Danny Sharp, uh, played by Jake Gyllenhaal, and Will Sharp, okay, played by Yaha, okay? And uh, Danny Sharp is a, you know, I guess Will Sharp was taken in by uh, Danny Sharp's family, uh, so they consider themselves brothers. They grew up together. And, of course, Danny Sharp's father was a criminal. <laughs> he used to rob banks and stuff. And Danny kind of follows his path, you know, you know, in robbing banks and stuff. And But he's supposed to be smarter than his father. And then, of course, Will went the other way. He went and joined the military and became a soldier, got married, had a family. And in this movie, like you see in the trailer, uh, Will's wife, I think she has to have an operation, which costs, I think, almost like a quarter of a million dollars. And, you know, he needs money. He's trying to find a job. He's trying to uh, check with the VA to try to get, you know, his benefits and stuff to try to help her get the surgery. But, you know, he's, he's kind of at the end of his rope. And he kind of turns to his brother Danny. And his brother, you know, he goes to see him. And he lies to his wife and goes to see him and says that, listen, I, you know, I need, you know, I need money for, you know, if you can give me a loan. And he says, listen, I just need you to drive. And you know, we're going to get this money. <laughs> and... It's going to be easy. One, two, three. All you got to do is drive. And he introduces them to the crew. And they go. But of course, it wouldn't be a simple movie if things went smoothly. And of course, they don't go smoothly and stuff. And the cops, of course, uh, come in during the robbery and stuff. And things kind of go ace. And basically, what at the end of it, they they hijack an ambulance with the with a with an ambulance with a female EMT. EMT play. What's her name? Lisa. Yeah, Lisa Gonzalez. She plays the EMT that, that's in the thing treating a cop that they shot. <laughs> And so they're they're basically on the run with the cops chasing with the LAPD chasing after them, trying to stop them. And they have you know the money that they stole, or at least their portion of it, you know, tr running all over, you know, zooming in and out of LA trying to get away. And they have to deal with a lot of things like you know the, trying to keep the cop alive, uh, which is why the you know cops don't immediately just shut it down because they have the cop inside the van that's they're treating that she's treating. And of course, you know. Uh, Will is trying to do the right thing, you know, he doesn't, you know, and Danny, you know, he's, he tries to be a tough guy, but, you know, you can see, you know, even though he's a veteran criminal, you know, he, he doesn't really want to hurt anybody, and this is a nice action movie, it, it kind of, you know, the way they extended it out, I thought was pretty good, it wasn't too unrealistic, <laughs> and the way, I, I think I have to give him credit for coming up with imaginative ways to try to, ex you know, ex extend the movie out <laughs> by certain things that they did in the movie, because in a normal thing, that movie... You know, this movie would be over probably in a half hour in real life. Uh, but the way they extended out in this movie, I, I thought was really was really good. And it, it made it entertaining and kept my interest and kept me invested in it because I wanted to see what would happen at the end of it and stuff. So uh, I liked it. OK, you know, I know it's a you know, Michael Bay movie. It has, yeah, but it's I thought it was still a, a pretty decent movie, if not unrealistic about certain, you know, about how certain things happen. But. You know, it's a movie. You go check your brain and you watch it and enjoy it for what it is. And I thought Jake Gyllenhaal was great. Is this guy who's you know, is, is you know he's a veteran criminal who's trying to you know figure out ways to get you know to you know to get out of this situation and stuff. And uh, Yaha, who plays well, he's like a family man. He's only doing this again because he wants to pay for his wife's operation. And then of course it goes all to hell. And he's trying to stay alive and and trying to keep everybody else alive in the van because he's a soldier and he cares about people. And he's trying to keep everybody alive with all this chaos is going on around him with the cops breathing down their neck and stuff and trying to survive, driving around, you know, being the driver, you know, trying to, you know, keep one step ahead of the cops. And I thought it was a nice movie. It was, you know, it's, it's a Michael Bay movie. You know, like I said, you have to kind of check your brain about certain things in this movie. And also there's good support from, uh, what's the actor's name? Uh, Garrett Dillhunt. He plays Captain Monroe. He's like the, uh, I think he's like in charge of the, the, the team that, you know, in best case, the bank robberies and stuff. So he's like, you know, he's the guy is in charge of, you know, of tracking them and trying to catch them and talking to them, you know, and trying to, you know, you know, capture them. I thought he was really good in this. And uh, I thought it was good. I thought it was good. Again, and I think Eliza Gonzalez is the, 
as the you know she plays this AMT that she's seen everything and and seeing everything and she's kind of jaded and stuff and so she's thrust into this situation you know not by her choosing of course because they just grab the the ambulance and take off so she has to try to keep the cop alive and try to keep you know calm Danny down and and keep things moving and I thought she did a good job with that as well and I, it's, yeah, it's an entertaining movie it keeps you interested and keep you in, in invested in watching and see what could happen and wondering what's going to happen and I, I enjoyed it, okay, for what it was. I thought it was a decent movie. And again, I like Jake Gyllenhaal anyway. So, and I thought, again, Yaha, who plays well, the family man and stuff, uh, he, he's a good actor too. And I thought he did a good job as this guy who's only trying to do the right thing for his family. But of course, he gets caught into the situation that he thought was going to be easy money. But of course, it doesn't go that way. And he's he's trying to balance that. And, you know, so he's you know, he has that conflict because that's his brother, Danny, uh, who, you know, he grew up with and so it's it's a complicated situation and, it's, and I thought they did a good job of ex explaining it and play, how it plays out so I'm going to give uh, Ambulance I'm going to give it a 7 I thought it was a decent movie okay you know it's a Michael May movie and you know in real life this situation would have never happened <laughs> the way it happened in this movie but for what it is and the way it, it, they play it out I thought it was you know it, keep, it definitely keeps your interest and keeps you riveted to see how it's going to end and how what's going to wind up and whether you're going to you know, what's going to happen in it. And I thought it was going to end a certain way, but it didn't, in my opinion. And I thought it was, I thought it was, I thought it was good. A good movie. It's good, you know, keeps you invested in watching it and seeing what's going to happen. To me, it's not boring. It keeps you interested in seeing it. And that's, again, I think to Jake Gyllenhaal and Yaha's credit <laughs> and, you know, and the way Michael Bay keeps things moving. So, you know, you're constantly going from one spot to another to see you know, how things are going to play out. And I thought it was, I thought it was really Really good. And so again, I give it a 7 out of 10. Anyway, let me know what you think of Amulet. Have you seen it? What do you think of it? Feel free to leave comments down below. I have links to my social media in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I also have a link to my other channel, Bob Views and Opinions. If you check that out as well. I also have a link down below to my patron. I want to say a special thank you to my patron. His name will appear in this video somewhere. I want to say thank you to him for supporting me and always having my back. And again, the patron's only $5 a month. Tons of content on there. Tons of unedited TV show reactions on there. I got everything from WandaVision to Loki to Hawkeye to What If to Moon Knight, to Titans, to Doom Patrol, to Stargirl, to Superman and Lois, to uh, The Mandalorian, to The Book of Boba Fett, all four parts of Zack Snyder's Justice League on there, and much, much more. Follow the link below to the patron and check it out. And again, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel, and I truly appreciate it. And also hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload new content to this channel. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long, and take care.